Hello, it's Kaoru, a licensed tour guide based in Kobe, Japan. Today I'm visiting Tamba Sasayama City, the home of the master brewers of Tamba region. Before we find out what the sake making songs are, let me explain who a toji is. A toji is a master brewer who leads a team of brewers. While there are more than 30 regional toji guilds in Japan, Tamba Toji is one of the most influential guilds. Before the 17th century, sake making was an all year round raver. But in the early 17th century, when breweries became bigger and more organized in order to catch up with growing demand, sake making became an intense seasonal job for farmers and fishermen who were not able to do their field job during the winter. Toji organized a bunch of men from his village and stayed in a brewery to make sake for about seven months, working away from home. A team of brewers consisted of 13 positions, with the Toji at the top of the team as the chief executive of production. Working conditions in breweries were hard. It was endless physical work. They washed rice in icy cold water early in the morning moved heavy ingredients around, washed the tools with boiling hot water. Each position took turn to get some sleep in order to keep eyes on the brewing process for 24 hours. They stayed in a small residence during the brewing season without much privacy. It was physically and mentally hard work to be a brewer. If any accidents or faults happened during the brewing season, the toji was responsible. This was a very serious responsibility. There are records of toji killing themselves for failures. Being a toji was a lot of pressure. There is an interview which was recorded in 1997 with a former toji from Noto Peninsula in Ishikawa. In the interview he said, the relationship between brewery and the toji is crazy. The brewery bet on the toji with all of its property. If the toji messed up, the brewery would lose everything. On the other hand, the toji risked his life to make good sake so that he could meet the brewery's expectations. A retired old toji once told me that the toji used to sleep in the night with his shoes right next to his pillow so that he could run away quickly if things went wrong. In the old days, the toji was powerful and dictated to the team. Tojis were strong leaders and some of them became even members of town councils or congressmen. Today, toji and fellow brewers do not freelance. They are employed by the breweries directory. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we will find out what sake making songs are.